Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Canton, Ohio, folks, quickly becoming one of the destination points uh, for investors out there looking for cash flow properties, right? Canton, home of the cash flow properties that you want, home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, just a bit north of Akron where your boy LeBron James is from. Yep, that's right, folks. A lot of people think LeBron was from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, he wasn't. He was from Akron, Ohio, and Canton is right there, just south of it, man. And outside of LeBron and uh, the Pro Football Hall of Fame, what do we got up in this region? Well, we got really good cash flow properties like this one. 1647 Roland Ave Northeast. That's in Canton, folks. I got it priced at 649 and this thing's a banger. This is why you're here. This is why you come to Holton Wise TV. This is why you come to the Investment Properties for Sale show. Because we feature properties like this. Properties that have price to rent ratios that you cannot get anywhere else, man. We are looking for the best markets for you guys, right? 1075 is what you can get out of this. This is a nice... Uh, lower income neighborhood, right? What you want to do in a neighborhood like this, I personally believe Section 8 is the way to go in neighborhoods like this. You can go cash, uh, cash paying tenants or Section 8 tenants. I do like Section 8 tenants in these types of neighborhoods because typically uh, we get a little bit higher rent, number one. Number two, when you are dealing with neighborhoods uh, where the tenant base is on the lower side of the income spectrum, uh, they're often on the lower side of the reliability spectrum. And I don't know about y'all, but I love getting my cheddar, right? So what I like to do when I'm renting out a property is collect the fucking rent, and nobody, nobody is more consistent at paying that rent to me than the United States government. So I do love me some Section 8 tenants. But again, it's not like... Uh, a super rough, tough area like up in Cleveland, right? Like you got like East Cleveland uh, or like parts of Akron that are like extremely sketchy, right? If you're reading The Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods, which we published on Holton Wise. Dot com. Uh, you see like some F grade neighborhoods up there like East Cleveland, things like that. It is not uh, that rough. So it is still a neighborhood where you can get enough consistency out of your tenant base that you can go uh, with those cash paying tenants. But it still has some issues like, you know, never mind this little bullet hole in the window, folks. OK, like you're going to get that right. It's not the end of the world. It's not like we got like gangbangers coming up, coming down. But sometimes, you know, you got to pop off a desk ground or two and sometimes you accidentally pop off one of them sons of bitches through your window outside of that though it, it, it's really not uh too bad of a cause for concern if you do watch the tenants from hell show on Holton Wise TV, uh, you will see uh, we do work and deal in neighborhoods of this level of risk. And sometimes it can get a little rough, can get a little tough. But uh, oftentimes when we see the rough stuff, the tough stuff, uh, desk rounds get popped off, things of that nature, it's from like inherited tenants, uh, landlords. There's a lot of landlords in the business that are just mom and pop landlords, accidental landlords, landlords who don't know how to do professional screening. Uh, you don't see... A lot of the stuff that we feature on the Tenants from Hell show from tenants that are professionally screened and managed, right? So if you're in a neighborhood like this, which I would grade at like a like a D-ish, maybe C, C, D, C to D, C to D, D to C, D to C, you know, you know splitting hairs really between a D plus and a C minus somewhere in there. Maybe I would have said C minus till the desk round got popped off. Now it's up to D plus. I don't know. But the moral of the story is when you get these types of neighborhoods and you actually screen the tenant base, you keep the freaking total total jerk offs out of the property, uh, the actual risks and problems that we get from the tenant bases is much lower than you'd anticipate if you're watching the Tenants from Hell show. Where we derive the majority of that luscious, delicious Tenants from Hell show content that I know you guys can't get enough of because it's some of the sketchiest, craziest shit you see out there. Uh, the majority of that is from inherited tenants, right? We got a big old company like Holton Wise that knows what we're doing, and uh, real estate is just such an imperfect business. You have all these little random mom and pop landlords. They have like one or two properties or this or that, and uh, they reach out to us to either sell the property because they can't deal with their tenant. They reach out to us to take over the property. So those are usually inherited tenants, right? So 
I don't want you guys to get too scared. My opinion, property like this is a pretty safe, solid investment opportunity. The biggest risk you'd ever run is your tenant doesn't meet the rent uh, every single month. Maybe they lose a job, uh, you know, don't go to work that day, things of that nature. I think the cheat code to alleviating almost all the risks associated with this property is to go Section 8, which is why I go Section 8 on deals like this. So other than that, it's a pretty simple, easy thing to put back together. We probably need to put maybe like 10 Gs into this sucker, right? Fix it all up, as you see from the video tour. It needs a little bit of love, a little bit of paint, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, right? Uh, that furnace in the basement there. Uh, so maybe like 10K plus the cost to replace the furnace, which would be like 3,500, you'll be rocking and rolling, right? I don't 100% know if that furnace uh, works or not, but it's freaking old is, I don't know. I was trying to come up with a joke about like old ass shit. I was, I was going to say like Betty White, but like she did pass away. RIP Betty. So like I didn't feel that that would have been appropriate. And you know, the show's live. I don't, I don't do edits. Uh, so I don't have a joke for you because, you know, again, she passed. So I, I cannot, I cannot give you a joke right now, but know that that fucking furnace is old, folks. So if it does work, uh, it's old as dirt. It's not going to work for very long, and you would never want to spend any money fixing it. You would just replace it because it's freaking old, right? So uh, if you do a home inspection on this particular property, your inspector will give you the boilerplate response like, furnace has passed its useful life expectancy. Recommend an HVAC tech. Take a look. You don't need to do that. I'm telling you right now, it's old as shit. You're in bonus rounds. Uh, extra innings, man. If we're playing baseball, we're in like inning 27 on that motherfucker. So if it stops working, you just need to replace it, okay? And again, cost to do so would be about 3500 right? So you're looking at about 3500 for that, maybe like 10 k cosmetic-wise. And then you're going to be rocking and rolling with a property that I think is best suited for Section 8. The one rent for 1075 in like a low C, high D grade neighborhood. The property is empty, folks. So... Uh, if you would like to just make an offer based on what you've seen here so far, great. Let's do it. Send your offer to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. What I need in that offer, like I'll drop the contract and everything. I just need you to say, hey, James, I'm all about 1647 rolling. I want to buy it. My offer is 65 grand. I'm going to pay cash. Here's my proof of funds. Or, hey, James, blah, blah, blah. I want to pay 65K. I'm using a lender. Here's my pre approval lender. Or, hey, James, I want to buy it, but I need a lender. Do you have a lender? Oh, you bet I got you a lender, bruh. Just ask me. I'll give it to you. And then you can make your offer. Or, if you want to actually physically tour the property yourself to put together your own scope of work, things of that nature, not a problem. Just email my team, and we will get you inside of that property for a tour. Or if you have your own real estate agent, just have them reach out to us. Uh, information on how they can get you inside for a tour is located in the MLS. They should be able to find it. If they cannot find it, uh, they're an idiot, and you probably shouldn't work with them. So you'll just want to email us at sales at HoltonWise.com. <laughs> Last but not least, if y'all are interested in more info on real estate investing, subscribe here to Holton Wise TV on whatever platform you're on, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, or whatever. And if you want to work with me personally, one-on-one -on -one, uh, below this video, there's notes. Uh, you could sign up for a free call at my team and talk about uh, working more closely with yours truly to get you all invested in some cash flow real estate. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.